Hey, how you doing today? Today I'm going to be doing something yummy and a couple of friends have asked for this recipe through the years so I decided to cook it today and give out the recipe and it's so yummy. So what it is is Thai style chicken chunks. It's so so yummy. So if you like that Thai food and you know what to expect from Thai food you won't be sorry for cooking this one. So here it goes. One jalapeno red chili pepper. So I'm gonna chop this bad boy up. All right, so one good size red jalapeno. Two garlic cloves. So here's my garlic cloves. So for one clove, I measure about one half teaspoon. So you'll be seeing me put in two one half teaspoons, okay? One third cup cilantro leaves. Doesn't that look really nice? They're super, super green today one tablespoon finely chopped lemongrass so this is when i found this lemongrass tube in the local grocers about 10 years ago i had to have everything lemongrass so this is a lemongrass tube by the steer and paste by gourmet garden and it runs about three or four dollars but um it's worth it it's very hard to find lemongrass and care for it so this is one of my favorite herbal ingredients so lemongrass in a tube okay so that is one tablespoon of that one half teaspoon ground turmeric so this is another herb it's turmeric it's really really yellow super yellow you need only one half teaspoon to flavor the dish okay so one half teaspoon of that one half teaspoon garam masala so this is garam masala seasoning, okay? It says it's with car, damon, cinnamon, and cloves. Non-GMO, non-irradiated by Frontier Co-op. So um, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, cumin, black pepper, and coriander. It has a very distinct taste. So most I'm going to say, okay, this is probably the one of the few recipes that I use this spice. So um, if I buy this spice, I know I'm going to be cooking very few recipes, but they, this spice lasts pretty long. I think it lasts about two or three years shelf life. So it says best by January 2021. It is September 2020, and I bought this about a year ago. Okay, so garam masala. All right, two teaspoons brown sugar. So here's my brown sugar, CNH for sure, okay? One teaspoon of salt, because here is my sea salt, okay? And then one tablespoon of lime juice. So here is my lime. And of course, about one pound of skinless, boneless chicken thigh. So here it is, cut up ready to get to put into the stir fry okay so one pound of skinless boneless chicken thigh i don't think anything else will work because this is chicken chunks and we want it to cook through and through with all the herbs and spices so if there's skin it won't work won't really cook through and through well and if there's bone it's kind of just um harder to eat okay so let's go ahead and do the herbs one red chili chopped all right so this red chili is definitely gonna cause fire to my fingers so let's just go ahead and chop it okay every time i chop one of these jalapenos i leave, leave a chili marks all over the place and every all the kids always complain why is my eyes burning so i'll try not to touch everything after i cut this and i'm going to try to gut out the seeds here and then here's the chili so i'm just going to it's easier if i just kind of chop it like this and just try to make them thinly slice as much as you could And I think this is enough. I think one of these is enough. If you add another one, it's going to overpower 
the dish. Okay, so let's see, almost done here. So one red jalapeno chili chopped, two par cloves of garlic. Okay, so one half teaspoon twice. two cloves of garlic, one third cup cilantro leaves. So these are my cilantro leaves. So I'm also gonna beat them up a little bit for the marinade here. It's one third cup cilantro leaves. One tablespoon fine chopped lemongrass. So this is the lemongrass that I showed you earlier. So let me put it in a tablespoon here. And I'll show you how it looks close up if you're interested. So this is what it looks like close up. And it smells very, very fragrant. Okay. So that is one tablespoon finely chopped lemon grass. Okay. Next, one half teaspoon ground tomato. Okay, one half teaspoon. Let me show you a close-up of this golden spice. It's a pretty, pretty golden color to it. Okay. One half teaspoon garam masala. So we talked about that. And that is this brown stuff with all those ingredients we talked about. So one half teaspoon garam masala. Two teaspoons brown sugar two teaspoons brown sugar one teaspoon of salt one tablespoon lime juice so you got my lime here And squeeze the heck out of it the old fashioned way. And these limes are from my friend's backyard. She has a huge tree. Thank you, homie, for all the limes. Okay, so one tablespoon of that lime juice. Okay, so one of those small limes yields about one tablespoon. All right, there you go. So I am going to mix this up in front of you. This is how it looks all together. Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look pretty? I'm gonna mix this all up in front of you and add the chicken in front of you so you get an idea of what it looks supposed to look like. looks like it's very very yellow very aromatic I can smell the spices and all the herbs in it so that's what it's supposed to look like so when you add the chicken it's gonna absorb the chicken will absorb the color and all the herbs
so it's looking pretty good. Here you go. That is what the chicken looks like marinated. Okay. If you want to marinate it overnight, you can, but I don't really have time for that. And it still looks really um, good and tastes good if you don't marinate it. So you'll see that it goes right into the pot. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon or two of canola oil in this and I'm just going to go straight into the pot. And um, this will take about, on medium heat, this will take about 13 to 15 minutes, but keep checking it and keep searing it. This is one of those ones that you cannot walk away from. You don't want burned <laughs> Thai chicken chunks the first time that you cook it. You want delicious Thai chicken chunks. So the nice thing is, I have a surprise for you, is that I can, the nice thing is, is I can do whatever I want with the cooking show. It just makes it so nice. I don't have to leave home. So what I did is I actually taught my daughter how to cook this. And so she cooked it. And so I already have the finished product. So here you go. Here it is cooked. That was about 13 minutes on medium. And here is the finished product, Thai style chicken chunks. Does that not look ultra delicious and spicy? I can't wait into, to dig into this. All right. Well, I hope that you try this one day and that you enjoy the video and can share this recipe with your friends and family. And I'm um, lucky you that they can uh, call it by name and you have to produce it because <laughs> it's so delicious, but it can be repeated over and over again like chicken adobo um, and the recipe will not be lost in translation. I am always putting down the exact ingredients under the tiny arrow under my video to make sure that you can jot down the ingredients, get the ingredients before we start the cooking process. All right. Well, take care. Thank you for tuning in.